In this week's Gospel, we hear the story of Martha and Mary, in which Martha is cooking and cleaning and picking up after the apostles and Jesus, and Mary is sitting at the feet of Jesus, listening to him. Martha ends up getting really frustrated and sees Mary just sitting there and says to Jesus, Jesus, can Mary help me out a little? And Jesus says, Martha, Mary is choosing the better part. Look, see now, I can help with four apples up on top. In our lives today, it's so easy to get caught up in everything that's going around us, social media, the news, and our everyday lives. Excuse me, Dad, could you play chess with me? It's important for us to stop and take some time in our domestic church mm -hmm. to take care of one another and choose the better part. I know you're making dinner, but if that means stopping and reading a story to a little one while you're doing a chore, or taking time out to play with your kids when you have a really busy full day. Either way, that can be a way that we can choose the better part. Another way that we can choose a better part in our lives is to choose Jesus first. During the first part of our day, pray or take time out in the afternoon and say a prayer to God. Another thing we can do is include our children and turn to um, a daily prayer that they know, such as the Angelus, a Hail Mary, a Rosary, anything that can bring them closer to God and help them to choose Jesus in their everyday life. What better part can you choose today? Join us in this great overthrow family at ilovemyfamily.us and we'll meet you in the Eucharist this Sunday. And remember how truly and deeply God